It's week two of the NFL in the... Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading him out is their quarterback, the former 12th overall pick. Some refer to him as the natural, Deshaun Watson. And he makes it so difficult for all defenses because when he's got the ball, it's hard to say when a play is truly over because he can create from any spot on the field and in any situation, even when it appears that he's contained. When he's running your offense, a big play could arrive from any possible spot. A check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. 20 carries, 83 yards. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit and try and keep him fresh? Or do they say, guess what? He's locked in. Keep handing him the football. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You look at this Steeler defense, currently number one in the NFL against the run. And that's a ranking that feels good, right? To be number one and be the top of your profession. But here's the problem. It's only week one. Yeah. Can they do it 15 more times? If so, then we really got something to talk about. That's the challenge. A game there of 21 yards. On first down, it's Watson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Now Watson. And this is going to be incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So here are the Steelers backed up to start their initial drive. And they will be let out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. He was certainly solid, maybe a little bit more last week in his NFL debut through a couple touchdown passes and earned his first victory. Now, we all know it's not going to be easy from here, but at least now he's seeing what it takes to win at this level. And that's going to be another first down. Good running for him to start the drive. This one, 11 yards. They'll look to throw now on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now a second and six. Now back to throw. Under pressure and down he goes. A tough spot here. Third and 15. A loss of 10 yards on the play. It's now third down. Back to throw here. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's got some space here. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Steelers 1-0 on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets your point in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. And Najee going to have a Steelers first down as the tackle made at the 42. 
Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. When you look at this defense, well, they were very strong in that victory from a week ago. This defense has a lot to be proud of coming off of the game they played last week. When you only give up 14 points in a game, not only do you give your team a chance to win, you fully expect to win because you figure your offense is going to score more than that. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. He'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And this one is right down Broadway. And the Steelers will jump out to a freeze lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. Over on the sideline hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now it's Watson. Going out wide, finds Chubb. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Watson. He's got the connection to Moore. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. This defense for the Steelers, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game. Came from all angles. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Flush to his right. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. They'll set up to throw. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. The throw over the middle, taken in. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Looking to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And the Steelers are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A big chunk of real estate covered on the scramble, but it will be third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. 
They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. On the move to his left. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Now a first down throw. Watson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Throwing again is Watson. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, their completions are first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Here's Chubb on the read option. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Three nothing after one on EA's second quarter. Now it's Brooklyn in possession. Now second and nine, as they've got it as we resume action. Back to throw, Watson. That's complete to Peoples Jones. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. And the running lane's non existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And again, it's Chubb. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Here's Watson. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six on fourth down on is Corey Bohork as to punt. This is taken at the 23. That'll be a 49-yard punt, six yards there on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured stealer on that last play. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and oh. Here's first and ten. Throw here is complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. On play action, they'll throw. They'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. But now he appears to be in some pain. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. 
Justin Fields. His first touchdown of the new season. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10 0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. Here's the Steelers' kick team as they'll boot this one away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Pressure comes and the Steelers take him down. They dial up the corner blitz that time and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. To throw on second is Watson. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. From the gun on third, Watson. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Multiple players getting home for the one-yard sack. On fourth down on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded just inside the 30. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 34-yard line. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. That's a game of four. Brings up third and eight. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he can't escape, and down he goes. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. They snap it to Fields. surprising move to go for it predictably at least somewhat predictably it doesn't pay off and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field they'll roll him out right fighting his way through contact and this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end big yardage there on the scramble it gets him a first down out of the gun Watson and he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Brings up second and goal at the one-yard line. Chubb is in for a touchdown. So it takes him just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down, so I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Now a first down throw, Fields. Flushed out right. And out across midfield, down to the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. 
The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. But free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. To throw his fields. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And they're going to be centered down around the 15 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now fields. Got his man, and it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown as his guys are able to extend their lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, he's miles away and smiling. And an incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. To throw is Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Watson trying to get his guys moving. Back to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On second down, here's Watson. That's out to Chubb, complete. There's a nice move. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Chubb, back-to-back -back catches for him. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Holding offense. And they get Jack Conklin there, the right tackle. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Watson now to throw. And a stealer pressure too much here. He's going down. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. There's your co-NFL record holder, T.J. Watt, doing what he does best, terrorizing quarterbacks. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Here's Corey Bohorquez now to punt this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. Well, everyone's eager to resume play here in this Week 2 contest, so we push right through halftime and back at it for the start of Quarter 3. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for Quarter number 3 here. 
From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Here's third and seven. From the gun, here's Fields. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A play fake. Now Fields to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. But one thing we certainly know, he likes to take those risks deep downfield during games, coverage or not. The coverage was there on that one. No catch, but he's also fortunate. No turnover either. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Now it's Fields. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10. And his throw is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Back to throw, Fields. With one complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. On first down, Fields. He finds his man, Johnson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And quickly, they get to the line. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Steelers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper. They need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Watson. And this pass broken up. And the contact well of time there. And now fourth down. So they bring out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fielded at the 20. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Here we go. Good. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. 
And he'll be tackled at about the 35. And they're going to speed things up here. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there on the first down. And that's the big fellas MO right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Fields. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And they'll fake the handoff. Now Fields being chased out left. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Justin Fields, his third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Ah, oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left, and he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. And he returns this to the 22. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. T.J. Watt able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And they'll send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Let's take it inside his own 40. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 64 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Fields. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Fields. That's to the pylon and incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win, and the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. And his kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So this one, Charles, uh, it's only the third quarter, but they appear to be well on their way to victory. I would say so because a one-score lead you don't even count, but a two-score lead you know it can evaporate in an instant. Three scores, feeling good, but you know it's not over yet. But now they've got a four-score cushion. I think you feel pretty confident in the fact this is going to go your way. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. 
Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They work now on second and nine. One yard game brings up second and nine. Watson. That's complete to Bell over the middle. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now we've got a third and three. Now Watson. And that is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. They're just looking for more of the same. Great first half so far. Good second half. And you know, sometimes, I guess, maybe, Charles, these coaches, they don't. And now a fumble. The ball's out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Off play action. Fields flush to his right. And he'll get this one to Cooper complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. On play action. Fields. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A big play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now a first down throw, Watson. He'll fire deep, looking for more. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. A second and 10, fourth coming here. Third quarter action in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, PA. Throwing again is Watson. He's got the connection to Moore. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A four-yard pickup on the play. First down, blue. Again, it's Watson. That is incomplete. A good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. They go with Chubb on second down. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another Back now in Pittsburgh. Set. This offense so far on third down, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and seven. A throw there, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. Desperation time, Watson on fourth down. Incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out, and it'll be a turnover on downs. Now a first.
first down carry for Harris. Taken down at the 30. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Play action. It's Fields. Steps away. And he'll be out of bounds. Able to get it down to the 25 there. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 78 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. An option handoff given to Harris. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. And they'll come up second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. They, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. Here's the Steelers' kick team as they'll boot this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Here's Watson now on second down. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. They're going to look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's brought down at the 34, call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Out of the gun, Watson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Here's Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and one. Now it's Watson. Right back to Njoku. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. A gain of five. First down, blue. To the air yet again, Watson. His throw incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. On second down, here's Watson. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that will be incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page 
quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Second and nine now. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And now we've got a third and four. Looking to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. And he's got his man out of the slot, complete. Third and three. The play action fake, they'll look to throw. Out to his left. And he is tackled inside the 41, point to the 35. They're gonna hurry back to the line now. Oh, they're gonna run a little pop pass here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On play action, they'll throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And he is caught. And the Steelers are going to be set up for the first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Now back to throw. Boy stays up, escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. Now he'll try to run with this. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Extra point attempt to come here. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Here's the Steelers' kick team as they'll boot this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. On first down, Watson. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Watson on first down. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. T.J. Watt able to record his fifth sack of the season. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. A shotgun snap for Watson. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like in the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the look. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed. And we'll get a review. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. So from the 22, here's second and two. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. Now a handoff running through the middle. Safety Grant dealt it up to make the play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he'll take this for a short.